you can mm -hmm. tell that this is a hand-picked opponent because when you watch what Hasim Rockman Jr. has trouble with, it's consistently the overhand right. From uh, over that street right here. Dash from, from Morrison. His oh, Rocky movie that, oh, oh, that one hurt. Here. Who's got a good overhand right? Some blonde YouTuber. Time to step into the... Oh! Jake Paul sees the big right hand landing and is going to try to walk him into it. Look, Hasim Rockman Jr. has got the best jab that Jake Paul's ever fought by far, by far, right? And he could use his rear hand. He's got a nice uppercut. He's got some good shots. One thing about Hasim Rockman Jr. is he's a big dude. Jake Paul's trying to make him cut down to 210, 200. I think he can't be 210. 200, but yeah, he can't rehydrate past 210. That's, that's, come on. Come on, Jake. If you want to tell us you're really fighting a heavyweight, Fight a fucking heavyweight. Stop playing these games, dude. This dude's 230, and you're going to make him cut down to 200 pounds? What are you doing, man? Of course he's going to cut his legs off to fight you. You're famous. He's not. There's a lot of money on the line. If he beats you, the rematch, you know he could ask for big dollars, like yeah. Nate Diaz did with Connor, right? You know, fought Connor for the first fight with some big money, way bigger money on the rematch. That's what you try to do, right? So he's going to jump at the opportunity. Don't fuck him over. Let's get a good fight. You know, if he's going to make this guy cut a ton of weight, this dude already gassed hard in his last fight, shortened camp on this one, right? What do we got? August 6th, I don't know, three weeks? Three um, weeks out. You, know, the, you, you start seeing how the, 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 the deck is a little stacked in the favor of the content creator. It has to be though, right? He's the A side. So he is not, he doesn't want to give Rama and all the chances we're, we're looking for a Jake Paul win. We got to continue the Cinderella story, man. He's going to, he's going to stack it in his favor. He's throwing the uh, finances down.